Meow. Meow, meow. Meow. Okay, so I'm just pondering where I want to start here. And I'm going to start at the tail just because I kind of want to ponder about the face for a few more moments. And it's always different. And this is about the place where I remember that I forgot to lighten my drawing with an eraser. Just so the pencil lines aren't really in the way when I'm drawing. But I can still see them. So just speed it up here. Okay, now I can start filling in some lines. Just kind of working my way around the back. And I start, of course, with a full pen. And this is a dipping pen, but these techniques work perfectly well with any pen. And I let my pen run pretty low because I really like the lines that I get when it's low. I, I like the kind of rough, sketchy... Um, I thought of a word for it the other day, but I can't recall now what I was calling it. But I, I just like the look of, of the running out pen. It misses a bit and it it pumps a little bit of light into the drawing and varies the lines a lot and I really like that. So just working my way around the drawing and just you know going with the flow and going where it feels right. And this is a drawing that I that I spent a bit of time on um, getting to how I wanted it, um, but not to exactly how I wanted it because I knew I would be adding things with the ink lines too. So I aim to not exactly follow the lines, but pretty close. But as I just kind of use the lines as a guide, I, I make a point of pumping more character into the drawing. I'm thinking about which lines I want thick, which ones thin, which ones a little more sporadic just to add the character to the drawing. And I just love the look of, of the pen when it first starts being kind of full and even leaving a pretty good spot where I start, you know, a pretty good sized spot, um, and then thinning off. And right now the pen is a little less full of ink, so that's when I like to do the eyes because it's really easy to overwhelm the edges of the eyes with too much ink. Turn it around so I can get the right angle. I find it makes a big, big, big difference. If you can't get the right angle, it's easy to, it's hard to get those lines right. It's easy to mess them up. And as always, I recommend that you listen and watch and also watch my video with the sound off because you can you know there's a lot to be learned with nobody talking through it I really aim for flow throughout the drawing for those flowing lines to connect and just to go in a direction that makes a nice rhythm and flow. And just feeling that flow with my with my hands as I as I draw. The crucial lines are those lines that define the face, especially if you're trying to make it look like a certain cat. And this cat is Shanty, my new rescue baby. She's been home for just over four weeks now. Actually, it was four weeks yesterday, and she's settling in just fine. She comes from a rough past, so she's a little scared yet, but she's coming around. I try to get a little smirk in there with the mouth, but in this case, it, this was her first day home, and she was scared, so I kind of want to capture that that frightened feeling too. She was hiding in the corner because she just wasn't sure about this new place. 
And I don't go for exactness in the lines in the tail here, but I do go for flow. I want that curve of that tail curving around and flowing up again towards the face just to keep the eye in the drawing and to and again that good rhythm and flow to unify things. Here I'm mapping out the eyes and making sure they line up well. Those corners of the eyes need to need to seem like they are on the same plane. And easy does it with the nose. You can overdo it with the nose so easily. You really don't see a lot of outlines on the nose. And if you draw what you don't see, it can look a little funny. That being said, everyone has a different style. So go with yours. As always, with my advice, take what works for you and make it your own. And pay no attention to the rest at the time, but you might find that that pops back into your head and you're thinking it's at, you're at a time where it'll work for you now. I never want my students to become a carbon copy of my style. You gotta be yourself. Just be inspired by me. Getting those toes. And I plan to do just a cat paw tutorial soon. Paws are one of my favorite parts to draw. Just a bit of a hint of hair here. As always, I, I remind people to not think about drawing every hair. You just want the suggestion of hair. Because your eyes will tell your brain that hair is there. We know it's a cat. We know cats have hair. And if we give just a hint of hair around the edges and little hints throughout, then we got a hairy cat even if we didn't draw a hairy cat. Careful not to overdo it. And I'm the queen of overdoing sometimes. Um, but that's how I learn too. It's pretty hard to learn if you don't stretch yourself outside your comfort zone. You'll just stuck sticks. You will just stick stagnant and just rote practice. You're just doing the same thing again and again. Challenge yourself always. really enjoying getting those sketchy lines in there, the ones that miss a little because the pen's running out. When I dip my pen, or when you have a brand new pen, if you're working with a disposable pen, um, I always go to an area where I don't mind the ink being a little thicker. And then as it runs lower, I work on those areas where I just want a hint. thinking time. And that, the way her markings are on her head, you have to be really careful with that because then I can overdo it and try to add too much and then it really takes away from the drawing. It makes it look painful. So I just, you know, I want, you know, I want a simplified pattern. And I try to also have stronger lines right where lines meet too, like the one that I just draw drew on the edge of the head. Add something to the drawing. Just makes it a little stronger and bolder and, and make it seem like it means something. And here I'm just going over her patches and not, I don't want to say outlining them because that sounds a little stark, but just giving a suggestion of the edges. And again, I'm getting a suggestion of, of her fur in there by and not drawing every fur.
you just kind of wander about the drawing and you you'll find that every time you change something in your drawing it it changes the whole thing and it makes it may make another area need something now so you know I, I kind of go slow and think about every line although it may not seem like I'm going slow sometimes I am thinking about every line should it be strong should it be faint should it be broken I like the back to be a little stronger and I like those back and forth strokes because again they give suggestion of hair Just that simple pattern of her patches. that out of the way so I can get right into it. Got to be very careful with this ink too because it doesn't dry super duper quick so it's so easy. I got to be so careful where I put my hands. But my sketchbook page was buckling a little so I was finding I was having to hold it down a bit. So that's why you'll see my hand on the drawing some. You should have seen me when I first started with dipping pen. I would be covered with ink after each session. But I found out that that was also because I wasn't using the best ink and now I have really good ink and it made a world of difference. But again, all these techniques are just fine with disposable pens too. I'll tell you though, after using a a dip pen, an old-fashioned pen like our ancestors used to use, um, I would find it hard to go back. Not that I don't ever do some drawing with with disposable pens, but I try to use ones that are running out just to, to be thrifty and to not waste because I don't like throwing things away. And also because I, I love the the types of lines they give when they're running out of ink. You're working on that tail and now I'm looking at total flow here. So flow coming around from the top and you'll see in a sec here there's some wiggle lines Might have added a bit too much hair inside that ear. It's all right though, and you'd be surprised how correctable ink is. Like, not so much in getting rid of what you did, but making it work. And the beauty of it is I drew her in pencil first. So I have some awesome guiding lines.
I'm just doing a simple pattern of the quilt and it's not exactly like the pattern that you see on, in the photo but just a suggestion and taking advantage of the fact that I can just use it for movement lines and just so I don't have so much void in there with nothing just a hint though there is where I'm working on the flow getting those lines going up from the tail and up to the head to kind of carry the eye up there I'll have to do another video where I really show that flow more I felt like I did here um, I was putting it in but but I don't feel like I was really doing anything that would that really really shows you and that's coming more movement lines totally simplifying throughout less is more always remember that It's not about capturing every detail. It's about capturing the essence, capturing her character, her catness, and just putting that personal style into it. Just working on a little smirk in there. Don't want her smirking too much because she is scared in this picture. And I kind of wanted to keep that in there, but also keep some charm in there. And a bit of a smirk sure adds to the charm. You need to learn which lines you can play with and which ones kind of have to stay or more I guess with how much you can play with your lines without taking away from being convincing that it's her and sometimes when I draw I'm just drawing cats and I'm not worrying about it looking about a particular cat but when I'm drawing from a photo rather than memory I, I usually do attempt to make it look like the cat but not worry quite as much as when it's a, a cat that I know especially my own cat just kind of sitting back and having a look and seeing how I like it now I'm thinking it's about time probably to leave it there with the ink and go to add in some watercolor next always close up your ink when you're done thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe turn the notifications on so you don't miss a video thanks for watching meow 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 Pfft.